I would say I feel good. Uh, you know, things happen. But, uh, you know, just keep going about the way that I am and, you know, let God take care of the rest. I might handle as far as go feel better, come back, tell you not to be a part of meetings and stuff like that. How do, how do you think you kind of handle the situation as far as giving you time? Because uh, Rabel? Yeah. Um, I think he handled it, you know, the best way for the team and for uh, my safety, um, you know, and um, all I can do is just keep, you know, leaning on them and my teammates and doing whatever is right for the team and myself. So. It's been a while, but can you take us back in the night in Pittsburgh when you when you first got hurt and went off? I ain't going to lie to you. I don't, oh. I don't recall really, really much from okay. Pittsburgh um, other than, you know, just heard that we didn't win that game and, um, you know, just moving forward. So. Is it a real replay? concern, uh, Traylon, that, that, you know, two in, in one year like this, you know, two concussions in a year, does that make that even more concerning for you? Uh, can you repeat that for me again? The fact that you've had two concussions in a mm -hmm. year's time, does it make it? I know concussions in general are very concerning. Does that make um, it? I mean, you know, everybody that plays the game is vulnerable to concussions, so I don't really think about it that much. Um, you know, I just go out there and play the game, and, you know, whatever is in God's willing happens, it happens, you know, and I know that he'll take care of it from there on out. a replay of it, and, and what you hear maybe from people after you record it all? Just a you know, bad fall, you know, and it was really nothing that I could do to prevent it. So, is there anything specific in the recovery process that was harder this time than maybe last year? No, sir, not at all. You feel like now you're kind of in a ramp up period where you're going to feel better and do more maybe each week? Yeah, I mean, I've been feeling better um, ever since, um, you know, and I'm just, you know, ready to get out and do what I do. How What's hard your frustration? It to miss those three weeks, though, I guess, both in terms of being on the field, or two weeks, I guess, in terms um, of being on the field and, and practice. It's hard, you well. know. I mean, as being a football player, when you love football, when you love the game, you know, missing games is not fun at all. So, you know, it's been hard, but, you know, I'm just thankful that I'm back at the position that I am to yep. play. So. What kind of expectation did you have going into to this last week? And did you think you'd get more action? And how'd you um, you got? Honestly, I was just, you know, ready to, you know, help out Nick, Chris, wherever that I could. Um, knowing that I haven't played in three to four weeks, I mean, I really wasn't you know, had it in my mind that, you know, I was going to go out there and play 40, 50 snaps, but I was ready to, you know, for my name to be called up and, you know, to help us win that game. So. How much more do you think you're capable of this one? Um, you know, whatever Braves, you know, comes out and tell y'all. Um, take away the big plays. Um, make sure that, you know, we catch tackle, be top down on all the, on all their routes. Um, they're a good break, breaking tackle team, so we got to do, do a good job of staying on our feet and just making tackles. I'm sorry I missed you on Sunday. But, uh, you couldn't celebrate because of the loss, but the hundred, the, the return you had, mm -hmm. were you out of gas at the end, or what have maybe people said to you in wake of that? Um, I was a little bit out of gas. I mean, I haven't ran 100 yards in the game in, in a while, so um, but guys were just saying, you know, good job, and congratulations. Um, while I was running, I knew it was going to be, you know, we're two points. I didn't want to get tackled. That would be pretty embarrassing if, you know, going down at the 50-yard line. Have you fielded some questions about roughing the punter, and are you surprised if that? Say, say it again. Have you fielded any questions from friends and mm. stuff about roughing the punter calls on those two plays? Um, are you surprised? Have you? I mean, I haven't. I mean, not really. On honestly, I mean, I just figured. Right. Want flags on the right. Are you surprised at how many people don't get like how that works? I mean, kind of. I mean, a lot of people don't really. You know, they see a guy getting ran into, they automatically think that, you know, it's a flag. Just so. But, like, a lot of people don't really know the rules that much. You know, they just enjoy the game, which which makes sense. Monday night, still special playing, uh, and, and against them, what are you expecting down there? Yeah, Monday night is going to be awesome. I mean, that's what you dream of when, you, you know, when you're a little kid and we're able to have that opportunity Monday night. Um, it's going to be exciting. It's going to be a good atmosphere. Um, they're, gonna, they're fired up, and we're going to be ready to go. How much do you feel like you guys can show something, take it on the number one team in the AFC? Um, this team's made up still. Yeah, I mean, we, we got a lot of fight in us. I mean, we saw that this Sunday, even though we came up with a loss. Guys are out there battling the whole the whole 60 minutes, and that's going to be no different come Monday. It was tough. Days where we had a few mistakes and stuff like that to be able to, you know, learn from that and go on. And because, I mean, somewhere down the road, you're going to face a defense that had, you know, some defense coordinator from the same scheme or players that play the same and being able to use the, you know, the, the mistakes you had from a game before to learn from that and um, do better in the next one. Daniel, how frustrating is this third down for you guys this season? Especially this game that the Dolphins have to kind of keep drives alive. 
stay on the field. Yeah, we just got to find a way to be more efficient um, first and second to, to keep it, keep us in those lower uh, third and shorts because, I mean, we've, we've been successful there. Um, and then just kind of in those third and longers, just finding ways um, for, for us to be able to pick up those games and stuff a little bit better and um, just kind of finding guys uh, – having receivers being able to, to get open faster. It's, it's kind of takes it all 11. Like, it, you know, it's not one single person or anything like that. I mean, they're great players on the other side of the ball as well. Um, so just finding ways to, you know, how can we as a unit um, be cohesive in that and being able to work together and, and find ways to get those third downs completed.